episode 7 seems to have gone a different direction. Because, like, people are saying, oh, the plot, the, the actual plot of this show is coming. I'm like, let's get real. You're not fucking giving me an actual plot. What are you talking about? We're just going to tease this girl. But Tensayo just mind broke more than usual. And she's fully submitted under Utena. So, and we got completely new characters, too. So, we also saw, like, the emblem badge of the hearts of the magical girls being cracked as they start to awaken and accept their inner desires. The face that Sayo make was great, but Utena's face, dude, the way that she was disgusted with Sayo thinking, what the fuck? You're supposed to be a magical girl. You're breaking the fucking immersion. You're boring me. I'm out. That shit was cold. So, hey, the show, you know, it's... Yes, we do see the degenerate fan service, but there seems to be some kind of plot there. Who knows what's happening to all the old magical girls? Who really knows? Let's begin today's reaction, though. Kiwi's back. Kiwi's back. Yeah, the nun, the fucking military, naval military waifu. Why? Here comes the Lord Squad. Hello, Sayo. The last few battles? You mean every fucking battle since episode one? Yeah, and you had a lot of fun. What are you getting at? She had the best time of her life. <laughs> the rocking horse. You are blushing. You're gushed. She completely dominated me. Yeah, that's about right. Literally. Not metaphorically. Literally dominated her. That scene was cold, though. This scene was actually so good. I feel like no amount of combat training is ever going to, you know, prevent you from wanting to get tied up and get tortured because you're into that shit. What do you mean? You need therapy. You need an intervention. You need. You don't need more training. At our evil lair. Let's meet our uh, senior senpais. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. No. Loco. She's like a crying nun. Ooh, hello, mommy. Who are you? Founding members. The actual founder. Loco Musica. Why Sister Giganta? Did she get big like Shushu? Oh, Lord Enormi. That's the name, right? Enormitas. Okay, she's the actual Lord. You hunt magical girls. What happens when they take their badge things? No, 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 but what does it mean to exterminate? Because so far, all we've done is blue ball them and leave. Did they actually kill them? Oh, were you impressed? <laughs> the fu- It's not like you trained us! Quiet Starless? 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 She has no stars. We, we, we see those stars all the time. The, 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 whatever we transform, we always get the star to transform. She, she's starless? See, see, they got stars. <laughs> I want to tie straight fondle and tea. Yeah, that's, that's the entire point. That's what we like to do. <laughs> What's up? Huh. I guess Utena does have like the star marks here, huh? Nero Alice also has the star on the cross, right? But I guess Ute like Kiwi doesn't have stars anywhere on her body, like the like the kind of like the tattoos, right? These are all the magical girls you exterminated. So we actually do kill girls? So far, we've never actually killed a girl, but like they they actually do? Okay. Sure, do your thing then. What, what do you need? Are we teammates or not? What's going on? Are you our enemies now? Wait, we're splitting? But this is great because that just means we can strip, tease, fondle the other girls now, including Sister Gigante, right? This is actually great. No, this is great news. No, keep the commentary up, Kiwi. 
Yeah, no, I don't want to be forgiven. I want to strip you and fondle you too. I'm good. <laughs> nah, I'm good. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, we're out. Bye bye. Why do we join? To tease the magical girls. Kind of. Vena kind of just forced it upon us. Oh. With your ass? Are you going to turn into a huge giant and sit on us? Oh, sister. Oh, sister's heavy. Oh, oh my, oh my God. She got them chun -li thighs. Heavy toes. Dude, every step she takes. Domain expansion. Oh, great. I mean, we're kind of got here, so she just loses then. Nah, sister should survive that. Oh, she can get big. Nice, nice. Is she just gonna get bigger than the dollhouse and break it? Oh my... Don't, that's, that's a single titty here. Right and left. That is a single titty. What a what an interesting camera angle. Holy shit. It's like a human tit job. You're gonna kill them like a booby job. What? <laughs> Just stuck in there. Yo, why hasn't you shoot done this in, in chain? Sorry, uh, fuck chain soldier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it should be pretty fluffy. <laughs> Bombing? Flash grenade! Whoa! <laughs> yes, they are crazy, but you guys are crazy too. She has three stars in her neck. She has three stars too. Gigantic nipples. What do you mean punished? What do you mean punished? What kind of punishment? No, you don't. You've only seen the dollhouse. And Kiwi, I guess. Damn, we Utena actually took serious damage, though. This is the first time where we actually took, like, serious damage. Because, like, so far, up till now, all the fights has been, like, play fighting. No one actually took damage. You know what I mean? Like, sure. Like, we get punched. Uh, then again, Sulphur did fuck us up that one episode. But besides that, there hasn't been actual serious injuries. But okay. We're getting into it. Damn, she covered it all. Nah, she's the main character. She'll get up. What's that smile? Are you smiling? <laughs> wait! Wait, wait, wait! Every time she has these scenes, it's so fucking epic. And the stars, I swear to God, are getting bigger, right? Like, this is fucking Oshinoku eyes. The star just keeps getting bigger. Four stars. It's gonna take them all out. You're gonna crush him? Four. Oh. We got some new opponents. I can't wait till we tease the... Yeah, she is crazy. Utena is fucking insane. <laughs> this is the punishment? Just sitting on her titties and stepping on her face is the punishment? Is... Is this a girl? Because the voice counts... Is this a girl or a guy? Is this a fanboy? It's a girl, it's a girl, right? There, there's no token, token fanboys, right? Okay, okay. Are there really no guys at all? I like her design a lot. Boing. <laughs> Loco Musica, so I'm gonna assume that she's crazy and her power revolves around music? Like, I know that we haven't seen any guys so far, but I thought, like, it's because we're always doing magical girl shit and all the environments we're in, you know? Did you just make fun of your lord? What is this train bullet? Wait. 
the Lord is kind of cringe. Okay. Do you think this is Venice plan? Because like Venna casually introduced us now. I, I, I feel like at the end of the day, Venna might have actually planned this. Did she, did she, did she, for what? To make Utena the Lord? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would Venna want to do this? Whoa, 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 what did you say? But Kiwi is so loyal. Bye, Kiwi. Yeah, did you know that they're gonna betray us? And we exactly we had to transform too. But what does that mean though? You did that so we can't because like if you're in them different form, obviously the magic, you can't know them. We want to hide our true identities to save us? Because they were going to betray or else we were fucked? Huh. Yeah, we, we kill. We actually exterminate magical girls, apparently. I don't know. Utena doesn't want to kill them. If you kill them, we can't, you know, gush over them. Oh my god. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, Venna is definitely puppet mastering us. It's nice to see Utena actually, you know, show some different sides. But ooh, beating the pulp out of the Lord and the Lackey is more like fondle than. Go, Sayo! Oh, for just beating the shit out of Sayo. But like, this isn't gonna fix her. No amount of training is gonna fix her. In fact, just beating her up like this might like awaken her inner desires even more and embrace the pain even more, you know? Like this is not gonna do anything. She needs intervention, like actual therapy. How is this gonna work? Alright. Kiwi. Who's the kid here, man? What is it her birthday? Is it her birthday soon? Oh, it's a get well present. Never mind. <laughs> Even the lolly is like, what the fuck, Kiwi? <laughs> that face is funny. Get her some magical girl figurines. Oh. <laughs> Loco Musica. She's got three stars. Wait, this is not our job. Magical girls should be saving this fucking town against local musica, dude. What are we doing? <laughs> no! <laughs> Four <laughs> Kurisu? <laughs> huh? Let's see it. Oh, they both got fangs. Why is she the starless wonder? They keep focusing, huh? She doesn't have the star tattoos. I wonder why. The more stars, the stronger you are, but I don't know. Three stars. Yeah, explain what they are. Like a power scaling system? The, the placement of the fucking stars are incredibly sus. Exactly. Three star deep throw gate is pretty much what she's saying, bro. What the fuck? I'm sure someone else is gonna have a fucking star placement right by their fucking womb, dude. Oh, so she does sing. She's Margaret from MASH, man! Music weapons. Sound weapons. What ha- Oh, Korisu! No, the Lord is cringe. Good question. Yeah? You, 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 do, do, do you need the Lord to, 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 to dominate the world and kill all the magical girls to, for you to only be the one pop idol? Can't you just do that shit with... Uh, uh, what? You, you, you... Oh, continue? What the fuck is that? <laughs> ah, because the entire planet will worship her because, you know, you're ruling through all the fucking, you know, violence and you've removed the competition. Sounds like a fucking fraudulent idol to me. <laughs> all right, let's hear the song. Where's the lights coming from? Lovely Loco, written and performed by Loco Musica. All right, give me the performance. What oh, is this is terrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the lyrics are pretty bad. Okay. 
These lyrics are so fucking bad. <laughs> Loco is a magical girl. Magical girl, Loco, Loco. Everyone loves Loco. Loco, Loco. <laughs> AK Breaking Heart. <laughs> These lyrics sounds like a shitty fucking version of an actual idol song that like a fucking 10 year old fucking wrote to AK Breaking Heart. And I think she's intense. She's singing out of pitch to kind of emphasize that she's bad, right? I mean, ugh, every time she moves that portion, though. <laughs> All right, Loco. <laughs> Korisu has the same face in the face of disgust, and Kiwi even has the face, too. Yo, I wish this fucking bear also had that same fucking face of disgust. <laughs> zoom, zoom, kaboom! <laughs> this is so bad. It's kind of good. <laughs> You're lucky. You're pretty, Loco. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, cameraman. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, of course I could kill me. The voice when she's talking is beautiful, but the intentional out of pitch singing, that actually takes talent, dude, to make us sound bad. Dude, they're comically bad. And, like, that's why she needs to kill everyone else and, like, remove the competition, right? Or else no one's gonna fucking let her be an idol, dude. The only world that she can be the number one idol if she's, if she's the only idol. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> no, I... Uh, uh, no, no, no. What would be even more cruel is to let her know that the singing is good and delude her into thinking her singing is good. No, no, no. That's even more cruel than letting her know right now, guys. <laughs> the lyrics are kind of cute, but kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, we destroyed her. Okay. Oh, this is dolls. Sight! There was a weapon in them! Did we take her mic? Oh, we just ran away. Oh, we just ran away. Okay. I thought we could win. She's gonna punish you. Are we in the tree? <laughs> We're in the tree. <laughs> What? Oh, Kiwi did just kind of jump in and Korisu just... How did you get the doll back? You're so short. You broke many of her dolls. That was like seven dolls that you fucking broke. Hmm. Korisu and Kiwi development, they're becoming pretty good friends. What's she gonna do? What's she gonna do? Step on her? Strip? That's the only thing she got going for her. Oh, oh. I kind of want the nun to Oh, oh, hello. And everyone just has to watch the punishment too. Now what? <laughs> Drop those hands. Let me see them titties. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what kind of punishment is this? Oh! <laughs> the nipples! She's going right for the nipples! She's going for the nipples! <laughs> ah. Yo, the Lord is so mean. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you, 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 let's get serious. Let's. What, what did you just say? What did you just say? Fail me again, and I will crush you in your pathetic dreams. Let's get serious. Those dreams have been already crushed by her fucking self. The lyrics. Did you fucking just listen to the song? In what world are those dreams not already fucking crushed? But goddamn, the placement of that star in her mouth is crazy. <laughs> See, the vibes are so off. Everyone's not having a good time here. The Lord is the true antagonist, man. We gotta take her down and save these girls and let her join our side. I actually feel bad for Loco now. But like, notice how the Lord, like she is a true sadist, huh? Does she get off on this punishment? Because like, how different is it from what the Lord is doing and what the Utena is doing, right? Oh, camera? Who's watching? Vena. What is Venna's plan? And that's the episode. I don't know what Venna's trying to do, but like, it does seem like Venna wants to topple the current establishment of, you know, with the, the evil people, right? And maybe Venna wants, he sees potential in Utena, like surpassing the Lord. And that's the whole point, right? Venna, also, does Venna even want to kill the magical girls? Venna never expressed 
her desire to like kill masculine girls either. And, a, and, 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 the, and, and like, Vanna used to be from the good side too, right? I don't know where we're going with this, but it's almost like we want to change the evil girls from just like straight up killing magical girls and perhaps we can like coexist in a fun way i don't really know what vanna's end game is but there is actually a plot the, the plot is being fleshed out now local musica singing let's get real it was cute but it was so fucking bad oh god damn the loco loco's an idol i don't love loco and i'm like Ugh. <laughs> but she's very cute i think that there is potential for us to be all good friends but hey I don't know what Ben is cooking, but I'm sure we're not even going to find out in season one. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.